So this is one list we are using. Uh, we are making a function. Okay. First of all, the sum is zero, and using for loop, we are adding each and element with e, one by one. Okay. So and returning a whatever output, whatever summation is done, that should be returned. Okay. That's it. Now I am going to run this function. Okay. Now what I am going to do is uh, sum num. Now I am writing this L1 instead of L. Okay. So L1. Right. And I will run it. It should give me 7. Okay. It is giving me 7. So this is how you can add some elements. Okay. You can do the same in case of multiplication also. Ma'am, how it return 7 a plus i you given the condition? Yes, yes, I will tell you. First of all, our sum was 0. Okay. Yeah. Then in for loop, i means the first element. Okay. So, uh, up, I mean, this is the, okay. the, I mean, this is the length. Okay. And i is the first element. So, I am taking i. i is equal to 2. 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. Right. Again, one more element is left. So, for loop will run again. It will take 5 as the next element 5, i. Okay. So, 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. That 7 is returned over here. If you want to increase the numbers, you can do that. Like, if you want to put 8, then it, it should return 15. Okay, now I'm running it. Now it is returning 50 because in third uh, loop that 8 is getting uh, added. Okay, now if you're putting 9, it will give you 24. Okay. Right. By putting something else like any other number 12, okay, it should give me 36. Right. So run. So when I'm entering one number, okay, it's, just one an it's just an element. Yeah. When I'm entering numbers one by one, that many number of for loop is getting executed over here. Okay. Is it clear, everyone? Is it clear? Yes. 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 Okay, now I'm what I'm doing is instead of sum, I'm taking multiplication. And in case of multiplication, initially one should be there, otherwise, output will be zero. And here I should change the sign. Okay. So now one more in order to check it. Uh, like mal now. And within that L1. Okay. So it is giving me this much huge number. If you want to check it, I will eliminate this number. 2 into 5, 10, right? Execute it. And now let's run it. It will give you 10. If you are increasing numbers like 9, it should give me 90, right? So now you will get 90. Okay. So this is how without using any inbuilt function, you can uh, take, uh, you can make some, I mean, take some and you can do multiplication. You can find the length of the string like that. Some basic functions, some basic application level functions they are. In interview, some kind of small questions people may ask like how without using an inbuilt function, how you will do the same using uh, your user defined function. So this is how you can do it. Some small examples are there. I hope it is clear to all of you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So guys, I'm going to wind up the session. Okay. I'm basically for loop execute the data type whether in the form of list, tuple or sets. Yes, yes, it will execute it. See here it is in list form, right? So one by one it is executing it. You can take boolean function also. Any type of things you can take over here. Okay, okay, got it. That should be a, a specific data type.
Okay. Is it clear, Aula? 